What's up guys, this is Mr. Javid and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server for our fifth day in a row guys. It's been record, record breaking. Um, yeah, yeah, so um, I've had, I am so sorry I can't remember the username. And that's something I need to be better at. I feel like I've been so preoccupied that I've been out of touch with my community both in the academy and in the comments usually i'll know a person's comment like their name just off the top um so you know i'm, I'm reorienting we're, we're back we're back um and we're going to somewhere a lot better um learned a lot but that aside we're gonna be using this academy um whirlpool team shout outs to our man shout outs to the academy um headmasters man they do not get enough credit and that's gonna change um and i'm not talking about for me um but well I, for me too but you know what i mean so we're gonna hop right into it um yeah but he kept requesting like jam can you use ho can you use ho can you use ho and i was like you know i want to get some practice in before i use ho um but ultimately Nothing, nothing good, but good can come from me using this, right? Um, if you always remember, oh, can't mod join it. If you remember, always remember losing is good and um, not attaching to your results, then you almost have no reason to never take action. Um, and so that's how I decided to view this as I'm facing an opposing HO team. <clears throat> um, focus my Vox uh, save card. Mm, that's not that great versus his team. Mm -mm, Volk isn't that great versus his team, other than versus Arctozolt. Arctozolt is smart Arctozolt counter. Orlando loses to Ninetales. Cartana's smart strikes. Cartana's leaf blade is damn good, depending on. A couple of things. Finny shuts down his main three. So Finny plus Volk. As much as this offense, I'm probably gonna defensively win this. And um, Dragonite upon Dragon Dancing is gonna be critical. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked to see Victini, but oh, come all. This is Rocker, I got you. Um, come all is a little surprising, but I guess not really. Um, so we're gonna, I, I'm, I'm surprised come all was his, his, came in this early. Um, it allows for me to get up rocks. He's 1952. It allows for me to get up rocks. Um, and it, it comes down to whose boots, right? Uh, obviously, the Nine Tails isn't. Um, what I can do, actually, he has no flying resist other than Arctozolt. And so I can play this in a different way than I initially assumed by. Should have freeze dry though. So I'm gonna do is go to Finny here. I doubt he'd freeze dry this turn if he has it. He's Aurora Veiling, right? And if he has freeze dry, <coughs> it's probably with two kill on me, right? He probably has special attack investment. I'm gonna go to Volk here. He goes hard Arctozolt. Oh, that works out perfectly. That works out perfectly. Um, as I get to pivot to Landorus here. There's no way he's not going for Bolt Beak because it's too big of a problem. And then this allows for me to pivot back to Landry's. Once Arctozolt has lost his HP stat, now the terrain the terrain actually helps him here, but I'm it, his veil is going away. So it allows for me to flamethrower. Like, or else I would have just went for Roost. Because he's Life Orb. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if he hard switched out. Yeah. Is it rocks? No. So it's heavy duty boost 15. You just literally will miss 7%, right? Um, so that's a huge, huge, huge series of events because Arctozolt is taking rocks, taking life orb. Um, and so we're getting to the point where I might be able to leaf blade sweep or smart strike sweep, depending on you know how he plays out these next couple of turns. Um, Victini is concerning. But Finny plus Volcarona is too important for me to risk him um, 
destroy me. So I'm going to go Dragonite first. Trick Room. Wow. What does this mean? I'm, I'm really not sure what the fuck's about to happen. Um, trick Room. Because he's also really weak to Halucha. And that's something I didn't factor in enough. Like, if I get the hit off on this, Halucha probably can solo his team. Depending on what the Moultrie set is. Hmm. Is it like weakness policy or something? Like, what is this? Trick Room. Why would you Trick Room if I have a Dragonite? Me Roost. U turn. Okay. Trick Room U turn. I wonder what the Punisher is then. Arctazolt. It's interesting. Um. That's one more turn of Veil, but the Arctazolt is slow as dicks right now. So he definitely, he's going to go for, um, he's going to go for a Bolt Beak here. Uh, so I'm end up doing is going to Cart. Cart covers everything. Yeah. Um, because now he Trick Room turns and all that. Um, Bolt Beak definitely won't kill, so he won't go for it. Um. And I want him to be life orbed enough to where oh he actually does bolt beak. I am actually very surprised that he bolt beak there. Um I did not expect to bolt beak that turn because he wouldn't have killed Dragonite. So maybe he figured okay he's gonna switch it out. But he dies to rocks now. So um this what that was the main thing I needed Volcarona for. The question is now just I am am I my open with, I mean, I don't think he'd be able to do anything to cart anyway. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if he bolt beaked. Yeah, good, good. Okay, so now the question is, what do I want to go for? It's Trick Room Victini with heavy duty boots. Um, yeah, he wasn't sure if I was choice. I actually should have smart strike there. But he still doesn't know what kind of card I am. So I could not be choiced. So if he goes to Nine Tails, then I am not choiced, right? So he goes to Keldeo first, which implies to me that he's confident that I'm not choiced, which is weird. So I'm guessing he's scarfed. And he's like, okay, if you're scarfed, I kill you. Excellent. So this is something he doesn't want, and obviously. Uh, Moonblast is free, but Taunt is better in case Ninetale comes in, so it can't Aurora Veil. Um, we're stuck in the same situation again, though. But Nature's Madness, like, Fe Feeny wins by itself, so I don't want it to get beat down. Uh, Misty Seed gives us Spadef. ECC gives us Spadef. Give up Landers. Go to Kartana. Smart Strike. Mm -mm. Go to Halucha. And. Stone Edge. Hmm. Yeah, I think from the defensive end, I should be able to weather his with Finny. Yeah, I don't want Freeze Dry. Uh, so I should get a Spadef boost, right? Yeah. And this will entice him to leave it in because he's like, okay, I don't want him to sword dance up. Actually, I can sword dance, can I? What? I mean, what can he? There's no way he knocks me out. Three turns of hell, freeze dry. Um. Oh, he hard switched. I'm actually very surprised by it. If I hit this Stone Edge, I think I win. Please, Halucha. I know Acro won't kill a max HP Victini. Yeah. And then acrobatic sweeps. I'm very surprised he hard switched the Halucha out there, considering I don't think he had the luxury to. Um, Acro should do 76 out of me, yeah. So Halucha just comes through. So, you know, there's your offense. Um, he definitely had the tools to give me a hard time. Um, we just played effectively around him. Um, and we, we kind of talked about this, right? Like, it's a little easier to play somebody in the 1900, 2000s, top of the ladder, because I know they know what they're doing. Um, 
and they're you're actually you know so that's 1922 uh, i'd be great if, if if i get close enough to 2000 then i'll then i'll keep playing um health and fitness channel but yeah guys 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 um i was having a conversation with a member of the academy today and you know well actually a few members and maybe this is the case with y'all of quite a few people been like jam you know is it worth lather laddering during olt and you know something i say often is that the question asked is very rarely the issue so like you're you think you're asking me whether it's a good idea to play during olt and a good way to figure out on your own whether or not let's just say you have the right motivations is asking yourself why not what's the downside why why wouldn't you play olt and so somebody may say the downside is everybody's using cheese or you know the letters to whatever or something and so if your downside is somebody else is going to blank or somebody else is the problem, then that means you're just scared to lose. And if you're scared to lose, that means you believe losing is bad, which you're never going to get to the top with that mindset. So or get beyond your current potential, like you got to get over losing is bad. You get it. There's no way around it. Most people's questions surround are at the root because they think losing is bad or they're really identified with their results so if i lose it means i'm a bad player if i go below 1700 1600 1500 it means i'm not progressing no it doesn't all right so cloister my worst nemesis hate fucking cloister um so this guy's 17 something let's break this down once again a uh, pretty lucha week as well I'll just need a few conditions met like you know breaking uh, multi-scale on Dragonite and having a bit of chip on Zapdos and a bit of chip on Mewtwo because I don't know what Mewtwo so what I did there so what's Finny's purpose in this one it's there to partly guard against Cloyster if I can avoid the hacks because I don't have any priority um, assist with Dragonite as well that's primarily it. He can also, you know, nature's madness and all that. But that's primarily it. And to terrain set up for Hall. Um, because Hall isn't plus defense, if the cloister shell smashes, it can ice shard kill me. Um, Halucha, huge problem. Super effective for most of his team or kills most of his team. Landers, um, Good for a new number of things, but we'll wait on that one. DD Knight struggles with Zapdos. So Volk needs D Knight and Snorlax. It's actually not a great matchup. He has just the right amount of weird to really give me a hard time. So Rocks plus Rocks plus Carton are gonna go a long way in this one. So we're gonna um gonna Landers to start this one off. Uh, if he commits to the smash, I have a pretty decent shot. Yeah, I figured as much. I like it. There's no way you, um, there's no way you just okay. So Gengar, excellent. If any lefties, da, da, da. Gengar isn't something I want to see. Uh, D Knights, not the weakest link, but um, Choice Scarf. So I'm now 426. Choice Scarf and these boots. Okay. Which implies, okay, you'd, you'd fear my Dragonite. So Zapdos slash Cloyster comes in here. Um, so I'll pivot to Lando. I mean, he could stay in. Uh, actually, if he goes Cloyster, this isn't a good play. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be. I want my rocks up. Ice beam, interesting. So here, you'd think, okay, if he's sashed and he's explosion. Um, so you either roost here or you'd pivot to Gengar. Um, me seeing ice beam there is actually not bad. I'd really, it would really suck though if he ended up. Um, 
defogging here because generally when they have ice cream they have defog so it's like okay do you you see sash I'm gonna actually swords dance here I'm expecting roost <laughs> a homie just didn't think or he just didn't know um, which sucks because you know obviously the Dragonite's multi scale would have been broken, which is one of the, the one of the few things I need for Halucha. Um, but we're gonna whirlpool here. Snorlax comes in. This is great for Volk. So the fact that he's Ice Beam again it might mean that my Volk one v ones his entire team now. So now I'm gonna commit to leftover Snorlax time. We're gonna commit to Finny Body Slam. Yeah, excellent. Nature's Madness. Nice. Um, Moonblast probably does a little bit more. 17, yeah. So Snorlax is gone, which means Volcarona is open because of his D Knight set. And I'm safeguard. So this might end up working out a lot better than I expected. So Volk is my new win con. Um, Finny's still a demon. Uh, D Knight comes in, Shadow Ball, all that good stuff. But his cloister is an issue, so I'm not gonna allow his cloister to just have its way. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked if he sacks Gengar here, which is why I'm actually going to go to Finny, because he, uh, if he doesn't switch out, it's fine. I'll get my terrain up. The Astro Zapdos, which I expected sooner or later. Um, Finny might outspeed. I need the Zapdos to take a hit so that my hollow chicken go and that's why the explosion versus dragonite was so important but again if he roosted i got nothing out of the turn and if he went to gengar i got nothing ice beam wasn't a play i expected at all um there was a lot of downside to ice beaming if i went to finney uh but we just gotta make do Zapdos is problematic. He's defog zap. So what's the Dragonite? Huh. And it's faster than me. This means it has some speed. Huh. That's problematic. Because the Zapdos walls a lot of my team. Um I'm actually gonna moon blast here. I need a special attack drop on this. I need a special attack drop on this. I can't have Volk hexed. And if it has Hurricane as its other move, then Volk um, can potentially get hit. It might not be faster than my Volk, but it could be. Uh, discharges to a KO. And so now I just need to Nature's Madness spam until I get high enough please get a special attack drop Ugh, that's like the worst fucking turn too <sighs> okay Finny tanks Jesus <laughs> uh, that sucks that fucking sucks man John just needed one Oh boy. Um so I need the terrain. Yeah, that that's this sucks a lot, but um it's far from over. It just depends on a few things. It depends on what some of the sets are. But as we said, like <clears throat> the lower the lower the player, the trickier it is. Um because he has a he has a pretty good matchup versus like Zapdos is a very hard mind for my team to deal with. Um, and then has like, well, I guess if the Dragonite is in deep, I wonder what the Dragonite is then. It could be like Toxic EQ Ice Beam Roost, like Spadef for Volk or something. I don't, I don't know. And like, if, if the fucking, <laughs> if, if the, if the damn Dragonite is so weird, you can't imagine what the damn 
Mew could be. Uh, but, you know, we'll just pivot back to Finny here. Just one hit there would have been um, potentially enough. So a Cloyster comes out. I figured Cloyster would come sooner or later. We'll just Moonblast here. Um, this is a tough turn because he could technically win the game here. So what I'm gonna do is go to Cartana. And knock. Mm, knock doesn't really solve shit. I'm gonna go to Cartana and double the Halucha, anticipating Zapdos or who fucking shell smashes there? Unless he's not, I lose now. Who shell smashes there? Unless he's not, uh, unless he's not fucking. Why would you fucking shell? What? Now it actually ends up working out, kind of, because the now it's gonna come down to is his app those faster than me? Can he hit Hurricane? All these things. Um, people confuse me. <laughs> One, you're slower than Cart, but why would you even sack the, the vo like? If I wasn't Scarf Cart, I'd have just. But you have the matchup, so why would you even? So had I stayed in and just killed his his thing, I'd still have my Lucha. I, I don't understand people sometimes, guys. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. So ideally he's heat wave or he's slower than my Volcarona, which I mean that does generally is not gonna go too fast. Um, I'd rather give up Dragonite here. It's heat wave. Okay, good, good. I like to see that. Um got two choice scarfers. Let me just give up cart here and remove his item. Okay, he goes Mew. It makes me look like a king. But I wasn't predicting that. He just leaves it in to roost. But he took nothing from that. What is this Mew set? He might be like some boosting thing. Like He took nothing from that. Yep. This is what I was afraid of. So we got a crit fish. If I can get a crit. Um, yeah. So yeah, we weren't we weren't beating this Mew unless we had some kind of toxic. Uh, I don't know why he's not just he's letting me get a chance to crit him. He doesn't need plus six. The reason the the Mew. I guess I could have maybe went Vulcan quivered, body press. Oh, that's what they run? No, he probably has body press and stored power. Because why would you only have that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what I would... Whoa. Stored power didn't kill. Oh, shit. So I choked there. I should have went bulk. I thought stored power would for sure kill. But I guess because he's not getting a special attack boost. Yeah, so I, I threw the game there. Um, Had I quivered... I think I guaranteed one, but it's doing less than half. Okay. I just need to either stall out the stored power here or get to a point where I take another one after a quiver, which is where we're at now. Okay, so I'm not giving up yet. Okay. I'm very surprised by so I just learned some. Burn him. Volk, burn him. Burn this filthy, disgusting Mew. Yes, Volk, you're a king. King Volk, King Volk. King, burn him. Nice. So body press got weakened. Nice, King Volk. He has how many stored powers left? Eight, have eight roosts. Let's get one more and then start quivering. Okay, Volk. I have a lot of respect for you as a Pokemon. 
Yeah, body press gets weekend. I have a lot of respect for you as a Pokemon, Volk. Thank you. Thank you, Volcarona. I have a lot of respect for you as a Pokemon. Um, so he wastes time roosting. I don't get that. I don't think that was necessary. Um, I don't need any more. I don't want to keep giving him sword power. That did nothing. Um, he has a little more than I'd like. Who Volk, you're such a fucking king. You're such a fucking king, Volcarona. You're such a fucking king. My respect for you knows no bounds, Volcarona. No bounds. No bounds, Volcarona. Crit me there. That's the wrong move, though. Mm-hmm. 32, I'll take that. And I gotta time my roost as well. Because that Dragonite is a problem if I'm not careful. Probably like Jam. Dragonite, really? Yep. Yeah. Dragonite, really, bros. Okay, so um, we have a shot here. Okay, so he's playing the roost game. Hmm. I have two left. Again, depending on what his D knight is, I should be fine. If it had dual wing beat, then I was never beating it to begin with. EQ. Okay, but it's like super weak. Which I figured is EQ. It would be EQ, but like, um, it's gonna come down to how much two flamethrowers is doing. Thirty-five. So I'm doing seventy. No way he has e-speed. I'm doing 70%. Okay, excellent, that's game. Pew, pew. Look at that comeback. I know everybody's, oh my fucking God. Open my big fucking mouth. Open my big fucking mouth. Now, to be fair, I can maybe stall. Safeguard. Okay, so I can stall some time. Okay, Volk, you're a king, and I appreciate you for that. Okay, you're a king, and I appreciate you for that shit. <laughs> I appreciate you for that shit. So, my mistake there was the... <laughs> I thought the Mew had... C like, I've faced that Mew before, but it was CM, I think. But then I have to remember if it's cosmic power, it's probably the body press one. So I thought it was cosmic power. See him with just mono psychic, like, you know, just stored power. And I'm like, I will lose. Um, so I actually did make a mistake there. My play was to go to Volcarona instead of fishing for the crit. Either would have done it, but like a timely crit from cart would have done it. And if I didn't get the crit on cart, then no way you should get the crit on stored power. Like, that's <laughs> just physics. <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah. Uh, so that was, I was going to say, that was, um, para on Finny, double para, uh, I'm trying to think all the ways, the cloister. Like, homie had an incredible matchup, but, you know, uh, something I say all the time, right, is your plays always catch up to you, um, which is why I say it's better to lose by playing well than to win by not, because then you just create the bad habits and you think you're doing it well because you're winning, when really you're just playing, your opponent played worse than you, it doesn't mean you played well, and if, if you're playing poorly, but you're winning, and so, you know, I know newer players tend to have a hard time understanding what I'm talking about. But um, it's like playing golf versus your other amateur buddies. But you're the best golfer. doesn't mean you know what you're doing. You're just the best of the worst. And so if you try to get to the masters of golf or something, 
then your trainer may be like, dude, forget everything you thought you know about this game. Your swing, trash. Da da da, trash. And you, you're either at that point you're gonna let go your ego of like, shit, I thought I knew some shit. Or you're gonna be like, okay, okay, coach. You're the coach. You've trained whoever, blah, 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 blah. Teach me. Um, and that junction is where most people um, have the hardest time. It's like, ah, no, fuck Jim. Fuck all these niggas. I'm good. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it for today. Uh, yeah, because I know me. If I keep playing, it's going to be like an hour long live. I'm going to get a super long game. And I have shit to do today. So thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.